stained glass window. Jesus, that would have been brilliant. Imagine the whole lot of shot before the whole window in like that.
what's called the grace of the benefactor, benefactors in the end. We date from around the 1225 to 1250. And I find examples of a rare and early style where the knight's face is completely covered by a helmet. The sword pommel of the larger effigy shows that the influence of the Viking swords of the late and 10th century still lingered in this conservative region. So I reckon there's a Viking influence. No great colours. Mitred abbot or bishop. Well, only a small chap, isn't it? Gargoyles. Ward of evil. Here are all the abbots of furnace. There's quite a few, aren't they? There's quite a few. Yeah, quite local some of them as well, John of Bob, John of Dalton, William of Dalton. Denton, Overston, Dalton, Millen. Yeah, they're quite uh, quite close to us. Well, I live in Dalton, I'm getting closer than that. Yeah, that's, uh, anyway, that's Peel Castle over there. I'm outside the visitor centre now and believe it or not it just never ends. We're outside the visitor centre, outside the abbey fencing and there's some more abbey ruins here. We've got reason to believe that this could have been an abbey farm at one point which is now a hotel but they're not too sure. There's another gateway into the abbey and here just round this corner 
this it's an amazing place it just is it just never ends and it should be finding all sorts and we're not but here is the old abbey another chapel another abbey chapel that's the uh, abbey entrance gateway to, into the abbey and this is like uh, Traveller's Rest you would that's where the altar was there you used to come in do your bits and bobs there you go there would have been some effigies there well this is one of the altars or an altar that's where they would have had the uh, the wine and the water probably yeah, by the look of it maybe bread they'd put bread in there wouldn't they yeah, for Holy Communion yeah so it's an amazing place it just goes on and on but look at this place shut for sale blimey never thought I'd ever see that they used to do some cracking meals in there just do some cracking meals oops sorry about that just fell down my bloody hole one hole in there one hole and I found it bloody unreal so that is the guided tour of the abbey or most of it but I've got fields all the way around the abbey to do and I've been on about five or six of them and found well, green waste today, wasn't it? Found a lot of green waste, which wasn't good. Uh, a few of the bits and bobs. No hammer door. The only coin I've had so far is that bullhead uh, sixpence. It's a bit of a bummer. Uh, just that one coin. But uh, I'm glad I've missed this. What well, kids are in now? Kids are in, running rampant. Got uh, some sort of school party going on in there so glad to be out of that so I hope you enjoyed that a little trip round uh, Furnace Abbey but let's say if you ever come down to Furnace get yourself here it's quite uh, quite it's three pound night you're getting and they don't do them cassette things anymore I asked her about them and they don't do them so but other than that yeah pretty good pretty good not bad at all so, Dave signing off. Hope oh, you enjoyed that, folks.